Hey, what is up, guys? Uh, so, I'm going to make a little video review on uh, the program that I've been doing last, jeez, uh, <laughs> probably close to a year. Uh, maybe, maybe longer, maybe about a year and a half, but uh, the program, if you're not aware, is Lane Norton's Fat Program. P H A T, uh, which hopefully you have been watching and and uh, following me along the way of my progress and and uh, along with my videos and uh, if you have I thank you if you haven't go watch that shit uh, I'm going to uh, I think I have all of them on the playlist now but um, I'll I'll link it in the description I think you would link a playlist but. Uh, Basically, 25 episodes of me uh, cutting weight while using the Power Hypertrophy Adaptive Training Program. That's what FAT stands for. Uh, I believe it. That's what it stands for. But anyway, um, I'm going to touch on a few things. Um, and I'll be maybe writing down in between. But I'm going to touch on a few things uh, that I went through and um, things I liked about the program, things I didn't like about the program, adjustments I made, and without further ado, let's get started. <clears throat> so, um, if you were following me, you know I made a little clever name, Shedding the Fat. So basically I was on the cut, uh, I would say most of this year. Um, and while doing the FAT program. So while doing this program. And the, this program, if you guys are not aware, it's like a power building program. Uh, which what power building is basically uh, using some power lifting movements. Uh, and working out like a power lifter uh, on some days. And then on other days, you basically work out like a bodybuilder. Uh, higher reps, less rest time. Uh, so, for example, on, let's just say, uh, day one, you know, the routine is, uh, you know, let's, uh, day one is lower body power day. That that's what it was for me. So, lower body power day. Oh, back's killing me. So, lower body power day, do squats, um, yeah, three heavy sets of three to five reps, rest uh, anywhere between three to five minutes in between, and then move on from there to hack squats, uh, two sets of six to 10, again, resting in between as needed. Uh, although sometimes I would do three sets of six to 10 on hack, but anyway, I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail about the actual um, exercises. I'm gonna get more into detail about my cut and and the uh, and the program. So for starters, uh, my ending weight was one eighty one point two. And you know what? I'm gonna find out my starting weight of when I cut. One sec. All right, I'm gonna do two things at once. So one eighty one point two is the lowest I got. Um, not exactly where I want it to be. Um, well, actually, let me rephrase that. The weight for me did not matter. Um, I just wanted to be bigger than last year and leaner, uh, which I definitely got bigger from where I was like last year when I cut. This is the first time I've ever gone through, I want to say, I'm not, I'm not done with it. Um, and I'll touch on that. Uh, but this is the biggest and leanest I've got at this weight. Um, so 181.2, uh, and where I started when I was, you know, actually got serious about the cut was, let's see here. Right around 200 pounds. So at my highest, 206, shit, I didn't even realize I was that, 
Uh, February 3rd, I was 206.8. Um, and I started cutting down. I remember I had an event around mid-February. So, around that date, I was 200. So, 199, 200. Um, yeah, so 181.2. Wow, I didn't realize that's how much I weighed. But, wow. Uh, anyway, 181.2, definitely a lot wider, stronger, bigger, bigger, faster, stronger than, uh, than previous. Um, now, uh, the length of my cut is something I would definitely adjust. Now... Those of you who know me know I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm hard-headed, uh, so this, I want to say probably last year was, um, me fully doing, like, macros, uh, flexible dieting. Before that, I, I was a bro, and then I was a binger, and then everything in between, so, uh, you know, I went from bro dieting, get, eating every two hours, uh, you know, eating rare to minimal carbs after six or, you know, when the fucking streetlights came on, like, um, but anyway, uh, you know, um, started doing my research and reading and reading books, buying books, and, um, I wanted to test it myself, so, uh, generally, if you have some kind of a, a workout background, or you know, if you are fairly lean as a male, one to two pounds, you you can afford to lose one to two pounds of body weight <clears throat> uh, a week without cutting basically too much into your muscle mass. So, being that I wasn't ready, you know, uh, competing or trying to get ready for a show, I wanted to uh, I wanted to test my own little theory and uh instead of going from one to two pounds a week uh losing weight a week i was going from half a pound to one pound now i wouldn't recommend that at all <laughs> um i figured out i figured that out the hard way uh which is fine it, this is what i wanted to know and this is why i i kind of did it i, I wouldn't do it with my clients i, I would go with what i know for sure works uh, with my clients, uh, but that, you know, I just wanted to try it on myself, and, uh, moral of the story is, including myself and, uh, everyone out there watching, uh, you have a lot less muscle mass or muscle than you think. Uh, when you start cutting, you, you notice, you, you find that out later towards your cut, um, my whole deal was I want to be around 180, 185, and I wanted to be shredded. <laughs> uh, got a rude awakening, basically. Fairly lean, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty lean at 180, 180 to 185. Pretty lean. Uh, not where I envisioned in my head, though. Uh, I thought I had, like I said, I thought I had a lot more muscle mass, and I did not. Um... Halfway through the cut, you start kind of like second guessing, not second, yeah, second guessing yourself. Uh, as far as me thinking that way, you know, I thought I had a lot more muscle mass, so I'm like shit, I got a lot, a lot less than I thought, a lot less than I thought. Puts things really into perspective as far as I mean, I know this is exact opposite extreme, but like I mean. You, know, you can say what you want, they use drugs, whatnot, but like, Olymp you know, top Olympians, uh, you know, top 10 people that uh, compete in the, the Olympia, you know, they're what, uh, 240s to 260s, shredded, you know, at like 4 or 5% body fat, I don't care what you say, that's hard work, I don't care what they use, um, so it really just puts things into perspective, I put it on the opposite end of a spectrum. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend cutting for that long. 
um, you start kind of losing your sanity, I guess. Uh, it's hard going, you know, because half a pound, it, and that's what my weight loss would be on most weeks. Half a pound a week, you're not seeing much changes in your body. Uh, and to be honest with you, it wasn't until these last, I don't know, five to, five to ten pounds is when I really started actually seeing a, a significant change. Uh, my shoulders always lean out f uh, fairly early. My legs lean out. My limbs in general lean out fairly early. Stomach, not so much. Chest, uh, chest not bad. Uh, so, you know, seeing yourself in the mirror at the gym, you see, oh, yeah, I'm making progress. A lot of times it's, it's your pump. Um, but like I said, week to week, you don't see much of a change from half a pound to, you know, half a pound of weight loss a week. That being said, if I did it over again, I would definitely go the pound to two pounds of weight loss a week. Uh, the fat's going to come and uh, <clears throat> my whole intention with all of this is to get to uh, as lean as I ever possibly. I ever have been, uh, which I don't believe I'm there yet, uh, but to get as lean as I possibly ever have been and then uh, maintain and then probably reverse diet out of there and uh, maintain and gain strength uh, in the meantime. And that's still the goal. Um, I have <clears throat> kind of different goals, as you guys know. As I mentioned on videos before, and um, entered a powerlifting meet that is going to be in Long Beach uh, at the Metroflex Long Beach. If you guys want to go show some show support, show some love, I haven't met you. If, uh, if I do know you, uh, if you guys want to show some love, that'd be great. Um, so uh, I'm still cutting, and I'm not a firm believer of. Again, this is the hard-headed part of me. I'm not a firm believer in when you cut, you lose strength. Uh, because, you know, quite frankly, I've done the opposite. Um, I've gained strength during a cut. Sometimes you hit, you know, a rough patch and then you go back up. Mind you, I also did not do... Uh, and this is on different exercises where I lost strength and, and regained it and came back stronger, but... Uh, mind you, I did not do uh, squats. I didn't really squat in the past. Um, I've only been squatting for about a little over a year, year and a couple, year and a month maybe, uh, consistently. Um, probably since I've started doing fat. And before that, I would incorporate squats every now and then. Uh, the past few months, consistently, I've been squatting for about a year. Uh, Prior to that, I, w I was starting to squat. Bef before that, before that, uh, just basically leg press, leg press, leg extensions, machines, uh, and you know whoever says that you can't build big legs by machines, uh, I'm living proof. Um, I have uh, fairly decent sized legs. I would say uh, probably my more aesthetic. Uh, body part um, from using machines so BS to everyone who says that you could only build big legs by doing squats squat is king though squat will, squats will humble you though. Uh, so don't get it twisted uh, alright so um, the variations I did I changed Basically, as much as you can change uh, on the fat routine. Initially, I stuck exactly with what it said, um, you know, literally by the book or, you know, by the program. Um, and it worked great. But then I wanted to incorporate some deadlifts. So instead of penley rows or barbell rows, I would include uh, deadlifts on my upper body power day. Next day would be squat day. So... Um, I would, uh, I guess my back would be taxed. I wouldn't really feel it. I'm used to really high volume, uh, as it is. And that's why I love this program. 
uh, I'm, you know, uh, I remember one particular summer with one of my friends, uh, basically that's all we did is like every single exercise, you know, three sets of failure, four sets of failure, five sets of failure, uh, and then drop sets and, you know, total like bro-ish workouts. But, uh, but, um, if you haven't, if you haven't worked out like that, I would really recommend it to be honest, at least maybe for a month or two, uh, to say the least. Maybe it's not optimal, but to say the least, it builds character. <laughs> uh, you know, there's people that uh, I have seen in the gym and they're like, you know, one set of two, two sets of three, which, you know, it's optimal for for uh, certain things. But, you know, you take them past that thresh point sometimes that you, you take them, you know, three sets of 12 they're just, they're dying. Um, you know, that's it. Like three sets of 12, like that's what I used to consider a set. Like if I, if I, like the lowest I ever went besides when I started doing this program, as far as sets goes, lowest amount I would ever do is like eight. And when I would do a set of eight, I would just feel like a complete failure. <laughs> like, fuck man, I only got eight reps on that. Like for me, it was 12 and up. 15 and up, and and towards the higher ranges, uh, literally 20 to, to, to 50. Uh, now you say what you want, <laughs> you clown me about that, but um, I mean, I believe to, to a degree it works. Obviously, I'm not gonna do 50, 50 reps of a, of a deadlift, you know, or more compound movement. Uh, that's probably just not the smartest thing and more uh, prone to injury doing that way. Uh, although I have done 51, because I would always do one extra. 51 squats, like maybe two or three times, uh, fairly fast. You know, I wasn't bracing the whole time, which I'm learning. But anyways, those high reps and high sets, uh, it, I mean, high reps, high set, uh, workouts, they, they build character and something, uh, to refer to that is, uh, you know, when I went to that seminar, that, uh, juggernaut training systems, uh, seminar, uh, something Brandon, Brandon Lilly said was, uh, well, two things that stuck out in my mind. One was, uh, you, uh, work all your accessories like a bodybuilder. He gave the example, he was working out with a bodybuilder. I can't remember who. They were doing incline bench, some fucking ridiculous weight, I'm sure, like 315 or plus, and they're just repping it out. And he said that the power, the bodybuilder was lifting with him, and then they kind of worked in together and did accessories. Uh, I guess they did, they were on the incline, and then the person, the bodybuilder that he was working out with stops at 10. He says, you know, he looks at him, he said, was, was that 10? You know, so it was just nothing. It was second nature to him. Like 10 reps was nothing to him. And what Brandon, what Brandon was saying was he was like almost dying, like just that 10 reps. Um, so what I guess what I'm trying to say is it's good to switch it up. And the other thing that he said to me, that, that, to me, the other thing that he said at the seminar uh, was that uh, had he not, he you know, had he not done those crazy workouts in the past, would he know, you know, would he be where he's at today? Uh, and you don't know, uh, probably could have helped. It probably helped to be honest. If anything, like I said, built, built character. Um, but had, you know, that's something that really sticks out. Had he not done all those exercises, would he be where he's at? So that's something to think about when you guys are, uh, mocking the bro workouts or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, that's for a whole other video. Jumping on a tangent. Uh, variations. Um, I would um, I would change a lot of my accessories, so it never really got too boring for me. Um, uh, did I like the program? I loved it. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, battery was running low, so. Uh, died on me so <clears throat> anyways did I like the program yes I loved it 
uh, very intense, very rigorous, uh, high volume, uh, which I was surprised for the amount of reps it was or sets. Um, I was surprised that it uh, taxed me, I guess. Um, you know, I, prior to that, I probably had, had never done the hex squat. I've ne I had never done um, deadlifts for that long and that period of time and squats for that period of time. Uh, bench, I, uh, as you should know in my videos, um, I had just recently started incorporating it. Uh, I was just dumbbells, just built my chest uh, with dumbbells and I feel like I did a fairly good job. Uh, never bench press, I just, it would just wasn't. For me, for me, it was it was more annoying than anything. Uh, for one, bench is always taken. I didn't even want to deal with it. That was the biggest thing. Uh, and then for two, it was almost like uh, my little rebellion, like of the uh, like how much you bench, bro. Like for me, I was like, I don't give a shit how much you bench. Now I have to, cause it's in the competition. Uh, but anyways. Um, yeah, I loved the program. Um, it was my first actual program where, you know, from week to week, I'm, I'm doing the most, uh, for the most part, I'm doing the same exercises. Uh, and it, you know, that being said, it was very easy for me to gauge my progress, gauge my strength. Um, the oldest, like, I, I was trying to, because I, I mean, these are just some, some of my training logs, and they're all over the place, so I only found a few, um, but, um, uh, going back, uh, this is the oldest one I could find for my squats, which was December 16th, um, I did 275, so it's three sets of three to five, 275 for five, uh, 315 for three with a spot, and then 315 for three on my own. At least that's what the notes say. Uh, so 275 for squats, and I know it was like much lower than that. I think, I think that's where I would cap out before, um, but that's December. Uh, so 275 for squats for me, Going to where I am now, um, you know, I did, uh, the most I've done, I think, was 335, uh, and I actually did that again last week, so I'll keep you updated with that, but, uh, you know, I've gone up, what is that, like 50, 60 pounds, um, uh, yeah, so 70 pounds? Um, yeah, anyways, uh, 70 pounds, yeah, so 70 pounds, jeez, uh, yeah, I mean, just looking at these, looking at these, uh, numbers, numbers I put up, that's the basketball, so looking at these, uh, looking at the progression I've made, um, I would say, yeah, it's definitely a great program. I, I loved it. Um, looking at some of my deadlifts, 295 for 5, 335 for 5, 365 for 2, 315 for 5, 345 for 3, 365 for 2. So to give you, um, to put things in perspective, uh, the most I've done deadlifting, I think, I think, uh, it was either 435 or 445 for, for a uh, set of three. Um, so from 295 to, to 435, um, that's a huge jump. Uh, and it's basically just, honestly, just from writing, writing it down, you know. You can, this is the biggest thing <laughs> that I took away from fat, uh, to be honest, is, is Progressively overloading, progressive overload, uh, getting, you know, getting better week by week. And, you know, my whole thing was like with squats and deadlifts, 
Uh, I would go up literally two and a half pounds every week, two and a half to five pounds every week. Uh, I, and I feel like I started failing or not doing as well when I strayed away from that, when I stopped going up two and a half pounds because my friends are around or ego check. Uh, and I would go five pounds instead, you know, and I'd start failing and I'd start hitting walls and plateaus. So and I always say this to clients, guys, two and a half pounds, if you go up, um, two and a half pounds in whatever exercise you do, let's just say the squat. Uh, let's say you increase your, your squat two and a half pounds every week. Uh, that's 10 pounds a month. That's 120 pounds a year. So you've increased your squat 120 pounds a year, but people don't see it that way. People see like, Oh, I, I want to be able to go up 50 pounds in two months. Well, I mean, for the most part, that's unless you're fairly new to bodybuilding or powerlifting or whatnot, that's not going to happen. Um, and if it is, uh, props to you. But, uh, that's not very realistic, to be honest with you. It'll happen, and then you'll hit the, that plateau again. And and uh, that's what was happening with me with squats for the longest time. You know, I just got humbled, and you know, I uh, I knew that. I knew what I was doing was was wrong, you know, like, I'm like, oh, I got to go up two and a half pounds, but let me go up, instead of going up two and a half pounds on each side, let me go up five pounds, and you know, that extra five pounds makes a huge difference, makes a huge difference at the end of the day, guys, um, may not seem like it, but, you know, f you know take, take my word first hand, uh, something I would recommend, whatever kind of program you're doing, stay consistent on it for four to six weeks, uh, and then you can change it up, write, write your shit down, at least your main lifts. Uh, that way you can see if you're making a pro progress. Otherwise, if you keep jumping from uh, program to program or exercise to exercise, you're never going to know if you're, if you're actually moving up in weight. You're probably getting a good workout and a good sweat, but remember guys, a good sweat does not necessarily uh, pertain to you had a good workout or you're making progress, you're making gains. Um... Anyways, man, I didn't think that I'd be talking this long on this. Uh, uh, would I recommend this program? Yes and no. So I, I would recommend this to uh, seasoned bodybuilders, people that work out a lot, um, that don't feel like going to the gym is a chore, a habit, or uh, is a chore or that they have to go to the gym. If you feel like that, then this program is not for you because you really have to, that the amount of volume that this kind of a program is, uh, you are not, you cannot be like lackadaisical and um, you, you cannot be lazy in the gym basically. Uh, there's a lot of times, you know, I. that's what I do. I love going to the gym. Uh, and even then there was a lot of, a lot of times I'm like, all right, got to do this again. Um, so it, if, if you don't love going to the gym and if you haven't been doing it for a few years, I don't recommend this program at all. Uh, if you are seasoned, I'm not saying I'm a seasoned bodybuilder, but I, I definitely have a lot more experience under my belt than I would say most people that just want to try a program. Then yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, try it, uh, try it out for maybe six weeks maybe not as long as I did it. Um, yeah, try it out. See how you like it. Um, I thought it was great. I'm used to the high volume. Um, uh, like I said, biggest thing I learned is the progressive overload. But if, if you have been bodybuilding for a while or uh, powerlifting or or you want to make sure both, it's a good outline. Uh, the, the fat routine is a good outline for anyone that wants to build strength, uh, and, um, you know, and get the aesthetic part of it as well. So it's a great program. Um, if anything, it's a great outline. So, uh, even with what I'm doing now, it's kind of out similarly outlined to what I'm doing. Uh, again, more geared towards my main lifts, squat, bench, deadlift, and accessories for those. But, it's a great program. Uh, it's a great at least outline uh, if you are tired, bored of your routine, 
and have been doing this for a while, I'd say at least over two or three years consistently, then go ahead and give it a shot. Um, if not, this program is not for you. St stick with, uh, you know, a five by five routine or um, three sets of eight to 12, so something like that. But I, I don't recommend this for anyone that's just starting to work out. Anyways, guys, I give this program a thumbs up. I loved it. I feel like I, for the most part, maximized uh, my potential on it. Um, and this is just going as far back as December. Squatted from 275 to, to 335 or 345 at my most. Um, the oldest deadlift I could find is 295. Going to um, 425, I feel like I've you know made significant progress. Did not even realize that until I started looking for these. I can't find the older ones, but uh, that's as far back as I can find. Uh, yeah, great program. Enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you've watched this long, holy crap. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, on my video and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Thanks.